Hi, I'm Rick, and you're watching Running With Spoons. And in this week, we've made some really unusual design changes when it comes to this bus. I'll tell you the truth, I'm not too sure about a couple of them. Hey, quiet. I'm trying to film over here. We've been working precisely 33 days on our schoolie build. Demolition, spending money, laying bricks. And we only have a month left to finish, so let's see what kind of craziness we've managed so far and what weirdness we have left to accomplish. This is a nine-window school bus, so why in the world did we take one, two, three, four of them and turn it into a bedroom? Isn't space kind of a premium when it comes to these things? So let's give you a tour of the bedroom. And yeah, by the way, those are bricks. More on that in a second. The bedroom is indeed large. Now, the first thing you'll notice is that we've decided to... Uh, make the bed normal as in it runs from the front of the bus to the south of the bus as far as head and feet most people put them sideways but then you, well you're climbing over each other in the middle of the night so basically between the bathroom and the bedroom or on the bathroom in a second half of the bus is bedroom <laughs> let me kind of show you around spin this whole thing we've got a storage over here for nikki it's still a work in progress we've got shelving and stuff for me the bed itself is sitting about halfway off the floor which means, let me spin the microphone around, which means there's a ton of storage underneath. But this is where we can spend most of our time. This is where we're gonna watch TV and do other things. <laughs> by making the bedroom, <laughs> by making the bed in the bedroom so large, we actually have so much more garage space under here. You've got all the electrical and plumbing and all the necessities of life, but you've got so much room to put other things. And yeah, maybe I'm a minimalist. Maybe I don't have that many things. But I got room to store them if I ever change my mind. Now, most people create a living area up front. You know, a sofa, the whole thing where people gather and have fun and drinks and whatnot. We spend much of our time back here. We find it much more comfortable to lay. And this is where the TV is going to be. This is where everything else is going to be. Because there isn't going to be a living room up front. And yeah, that's coming up soon too. Okay, I feel like I gotta throw a little caveat in here before we get into the next four. This is obviously not a done bus. We are only halfway through. A lot of trim left to do. So when I'm pointing out things, it's sort of the big picture of things. It's not the minute details. And I tell you what, they're gonna be even weirder. Trust me. So we were stuck for a design idea for the walls of the bus. We were originally going to bust up a whole bunch of pallets, you know, paint them a whole bunch of different colors, Jamaican style, and I don't know, nail them up to the walls and call it a day. Neither one of us really liked that idea. It was a good number two, but we were walking around Home Depot, Lowe's, one of those places, and we're like, what can we put up on the walls? We can do shipboard, we can do laps, and we get it bricks all of a sudden we saw a bunch of bricks out there in the yard and we're like you know who puts bricks in a school bus well we did bricks in a school bus now many people wouldn't think of that option because bricks are very heavy right well we're not talking about the same kind of bricks as well in that house over there well if you could see through the dirty windshield there's bricks on that house those aren't the same bricks that we put in here and you don't lay them the same way i'm gonna have to get in a little bit more in a bit about what they are and how we put them in but I tell you, once we saw them, we're like, oh, yeah, this is too cool. So, yep, we've got bricks all through the main area. We've got bricks all through the kitchen. And in fact, we even have bricks in the bathroom. And by the way, I told you a little bit ago about how we're making design choices as far as size. This bathroom, it takes up two windows. So four plus two is six. Six windows of a nine window bus are dedicated to sleeping, doing other things in the bedroom and taking a poop. Who does that? Half of our bus is dedicated to a non-living area. That's got to be the weirdest design choice of all after bricks. Bricks is probably number one. Okay, design weirdness number three, and I alluded to it earlier. We don't have a living area. We have nowhere to actually live in this bus. Now this area right here is as close, let me get a little closer so you can actually hear me. <laughs> this area right here is as close as we have to a living area. Basically it's two chairs with sliding covers on them. There's gonna be a dinette table here. So we are gonna have a place to eat, a place to work, but the rest of it, there's gonna be no sofa, no projection TV, and no place to congregate and have a party. But basically this is gonna be repurposed. We're gonna grow stuff here. Now you're gonna have to use your imagination a little bit for this one, but this whole area, two and a half windows of the bus is gonna be for gardening, botany, whatever you wanna call it. We're gonna have shelves here, grow light. Just because we're on the road doesn't mean that we can't have fresh food. And that was really important to us. More important than having people over and drinking in the middle of the bus, we wanna be able to serve them fresh food. 
So where do you entertain when you want to have people over? Well, you entertain in one of these. This is a 10 foot by 10 foot, really easy one-handed pop-up tent. Our living area, it's going to be outside. Now, Nikki and I don't like cold weather. We don't like cold weather at all. So we're going to stay in a warmer climate. Wherever we park, we're going to pop the tent, throw a bunch of tables and chairs out there, and that's where we're going to entertain. Why should you be inside of a bus, especially in the places where it's warm and you have no air conditioning, when you can sit outside, fight the mosquitoes, and have your beverages that way. Unusual design choice number four. This is our kitchen sink. Wait, sorry. This is actually the bathroom sink. One moment. This is the kitchen sink. Do you see how freaking big this is? We actually got this at a restaurant supply house. It is 12 inches deep. It is freaking huge. We wanted to build the entire kitchen around a sink. And yeah, this really is the bathroom sink. It goes right here. And this, <laughs> that's the faucet. Does that kind of look familiar? A little out of place, but yeah, we're weird. What can I say? So of the nine windows of the school bus worth of space, three of them, just three of them, are going to be used for the kitchen. Now, you would think that somebody like me who loves to cook would want more, but no. But think about it. Seven and a half feet of counter space. Granted, a big giant sink. Hello, I am your father. Sorry about that. Yes, the big giant sink is going to take up a lot of space. But other than that, there's a whole lot more that you don't see. By that, I mean literally you can't see it because I haven't built it yet. It's all still up here in my brain. But basically, we're going to have slide out drawers. And inside of those drawers are going to be the cooktop. The oven's going to be buried under shelves. There is so much storage that we are putting into that kitchen. Our priority was A, a sink. So, well, that's, we can stack up dishes when we don't want to do them. But the rest of it is just workspace. So you can spend your time and you can do all of your prep and then you can slide out the drawers and then you can cook and then you can put everything in the sink and forget about it while you go outside and have beverages with friends. So odd design choice number five. Where's the shower rack? We've seen the bathroom. We've seen the bedroom. We've seen your kitchen and grill area. Where are you actually going to shower? Well, I'm sitting in it. One of the fun things about a schoolie bus build is everything has to have multiple purposes. So you want to have a space. Well, it has to be storage. It has to be something else. Well, you've got a stairwell. What else can a stairwell be but a stairwell? Well, we're going to turn it into our shower. So what you're going to have is we're going to have hot and cold faucets sitting up here. And there's going to be a handle sprayer, which mounts here normally when we're driving. But you could put it here for tall people. You could put it here for short people. And this is where you shower. You could also drag the handle outside if you want to have a little alfresco action. But Rick, you say, people are going to see you naked standing in your stairwell. And I know a lot of you have asked in the comments who actually have that. But no... We're not going to do it. So basically, we're going to have a shower curtain that just sort of runs on tracks across the ceiling. Normally, it'll be tucked in out of the way next to the windshield or behind where I'm sitting. But when you pull it across, you're going to have privacy. We're also going to put something on the windows. Nikki found it where it's like one way glass. And hopefully we'll install it the correct way where we can see out and people can't say in. So, yeah, that's our design weirdness. Number five is we're really going to make use of every single square inch of this space, including where we get wet. Okay, confession time about those bricks. They aren't real bricks. They are, well, they're this stuff. Hang on. They're this stuff. It's not, it's paneling. It's paneling that's meant to look like bricks. So we were wandering around Home Depot, Lowe's, one of those places. I don't know, they're kind of interchangeable to me. I'm giving them both lots of money. Now, bricks are heavy. I don't know how to lay bricks well, at least. Paneling, it's pretty easy to cut that, nail it up, and call it a day. Yeah, they're not real bricks. Sorry for any confusion or clickbaity ideas I may have given you, but they look so neat. There was so much wood in this bus already, I couldn't bring myself to put more wood on. On the wall. So what you got are something completely different. It's lightweight. It covers up the walls really nicely. I think it looks pretty damn cool. Does it confuse people? Yeah. Is it part of a video that, I don't know, may have enticed you to click with the wrong idea? Yeah, again, sorry about that, but aren't these things neat? So you think there's just five unusual design choices? Trust me, there's a hell of a lot more. We've still got another month or two left to build this, and we got some ideas that you're not going to believe. And in the meantime, watch whatever's popping up. I'm sure it has something to do with the bus. And with that, be healthy, be happy, and we will see you soon.